In this video, I'll be using the new DJI Digital FPV system to do some low light flying outside. And I'll also be flying with my friend Matt and we'll try out the audience spectating feature. For more information on the DJI FPV system, check out my previous video about it. My friend Matt is the only other person I personally know who has the DJI system as well, which means that we can spectate each other as well as fly. That's part of the, the reason why I was apprehensive to get the FPV system was because I didn't really know anyone else who had it and that means you lose that community aspect of people watching each other and challenging each other and having a good time. But that's why we're out here. We're gonna put in a few packs and see what it looks like as the sun goes down. All right, so one of the things that I almost did today was pull my goggles right off my car onto the ground, and that's because I keep the battery for it in my pocket using this cable. And that's actually kind of how it's designed. They have this long cable so you don't actually have a battery hanging off the side of your face, but that means that you're tempted to put it into your pocket, and if you don't remember that, you're gonna walk away and pull this right off onto the ground. So. Just keep that in mind. Also, we were trying to think of a way to add some stress relief for this cable here because this is easy to pop off or pop out when you're not meaning for that to happen. So I just kind of wrap it around, but there's probably better ideas and better, uh, better methods for that too. And that is a really short uh, inactivity alert for this thing. It's like less than five minutes. It's happened at least once already today, so.
I also wonder if I can record Matt's footage as he flies. That would be interesting. He's gonna take off. I'm going to tune in using audience mode. I am ready. Let's see, player in. Can I get in now? That's weird. Oh, I see. I got it. I got it. Yes. You're sweet. recording? Now, hold on. I'm going to record. Yes, I'm recording your flight. Sweet. All right. Okay, yep. So I'm recording yeah, Matt's flight. Damn. Yeah, he's got a little bit of. That's even worse. Wow. That's Whoa. strange. So he's got. It's fine there. Yeah, yeah. You're just cruising. Yeah, it's like mid throttle range. So Matt has a little bit of oscillation, but let's just overlook that for the moment. Wow. See, and it's it's fine when I punch. Yeah, yeah. It's a mid oscillation thing. So what do you think? Like, look. It, yeah, I would think I think that's a camera. You think it's what? I would think it's a camera, but I don't really know. Besides the oscillation, it's really cool that I can watch him fly in HD. So I'm seeing exactly what he sees. It's clear as day. Um, so he's on channel two, which means I could power up on channel seven. Um, I got a little bit of distortion there. You getting those blocky? You getting a little bit of a blocky image over there? Yeah, it's getting nasty. Okay, maybe I have to turn. Okay, I know. Okay. Yeah, I just got it again. Blockiness. You're good? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. I'm even facing towards you. Yeah, the image got really corrupted for me over here, so I don't know what that means, but I tuned into Matt, Matt tuned into me as we were flying. We realized that our range as a spectator is greatly reduced. The further out we go, the pilot can see just fine, but for some reason, the person, the audience, who like the spectator, uh, their video gets chewed up, like at a much shorter distance from the pilot than the pilot's video. So, not sure what that means, but as long as we're in a decent uh, range, then it doesn't seem to be any different. All right, guys, well, that is it. I'm out of here. If you're interested in what I fly, both analog and DJI FPV systems, check the links in the video description. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and until next time, happy flying.